Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome back and hello if you are new my name is Sarah and I make lots of decor videos just like this one I also make lots of cleaning cooking lifestyle plus-size fashion beauty all that type of stuff so if any of that strikes your fancy I would love it if you hit the subscribe button down below and joined our little family I'm so excited for today's video it is a Halloween decorate with me and I can't wait to share everything with you um, I didn't go super crazy with my Halloween decor this year as far as buying new stuff but there are a couple new things that I bought I bought a couple things off of Amazon some at Target um, at home QVC so maybe I'm not more than I'm saying I did but I'm excited to share with you guys the stuff that I did get and my past favorites that I still have and treasure and um, actually today normally I decorate with my husband he's always here helping me but you know what I'm gonna surprise him when he comes home and we're gonna have a new Halloween spooky wonderland or spookland or I don't know Ellie. My girls are going to help me out and we're going to get to decorating. Any of the new things that I've recently bought this year or if I can find any of the old things um, I will have them linked down below for you guys as usual and I hope you guys enjoy this really fun Halloween festive decor. Um, Halloween obviously looks so different for us this year. Um, I don't know what your Halloween plans are. I'd love to know what you guys plan on doing um, down below if you're taking your little ones trick-or-treating or whatnot. Um, if you're staying in watching scary movies what are you going to do? Um, we are not going to go trick-or-treating this year. We are going to be socially distancing and instead I am going to kind of create a fun Halloween party just for our little family. We are going to um, do trick-or-treating indoors. <laughs> we are going to have a pinata and fun games and carve pumpkins and watch The Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown and have yummy fun spooky foods and stuff like that. That is going to be our Halloween this year. The girls are still dressing up. They have picked out their costumes. We're also going to get ready and try to make it as fun and Halloween as fun and Halloween as we can. We just aren't going to go trick or treating. But I'm still really excited for this new tradition. I'm looking forward to it, and I hope you guys are finding a way to celebrate and enjoy it just as much. Let's get to the decorating. Okay, first we're going to start by taking down all the fall decorations. I get asked this question a lot when I do decorate with me videos. If I leave my fall decorations up, why do I take them down so early? Do I put them back up? How many fall decorations do I actually leave up? And I take down probably 99% of the fall decorations before I decorate for Halloween. I like to date, decorate pretty cohesively, and so I just take down the fall decorations and put up only spooky Halloween fun things like that. Um, and then after Halloween, I will decorate again for about two weeks. It'll be up, and then it's time for Christmas. That may seem like a lot of work for some of you guys and seem pointless, but for me, that's how we like it. And by the time Halloween's over, normally I'm ready for Christmas time anyway. Um, that boo sign is something that I love so much. I've had it for a couple years. It's from Walmart, but I've seen similar ones for the past number of years. And that books, sh book of shadows and potions and spells um, thing is from Tuesday mornings, but I've seen a super similar one um, at at home and big lots this year they're really easy to come by now um, most of the decorations um, and the decor in our living room area is all from pr uh, prior years like that target pumpkin and these target candlesticks one of my biggest tips is if you're trying to build your um, holiday de holiday decor is to shop after the holidays. Shop all the clearances and sales, then save them for the following year, and it'll still feel like new decorations that you didn't have the year before, but you saved a bunch of money. That is my biggest tip on trying to um, add to your holiday decor. And that little pumpkin was also on clearance at Target a couple years back. Um, and I just love all this mantle. It always makes me feel so happy, and it's so cozy and fun, and still spooky, and but still really kid-friendly. Um, this garland is actually from home goods but I've seen um, a couple years back when I know that they bring you know numerous ones out each year they are great for really nice um, wool or felt garland um, little little garlands and this hocus pocus sign is from Target as well but it's really easy to make it's just a sparkly felt you could easily make that yourself next we're gonna go ahead and tackle the couch this is one of my biggest tips is to just use pillow covers and cover pillows you already have it saves space and money it's super easy so I'm just taking away the cream pillow and I'm gonna replace it with um, 
the black buffalo check and I just love the black and orange together. I just think they look really cute along with that hocus pocus pillow that is actually from um, home, at home, <laughs> at home. And I did see it this year so I know they still have it but I did get it a couple years past. Um, also my big tip is to use blanket scarves for throws. You buy them on Amazon. They're super cheap and still super cozy. I love using them. I meant to buy one that was um, perfect for Halloween, but I totally forgot. So we're just going with that one anyway. Next, I'm just going to decorate the girls' little um, food area and get it all festive. I always use a new um, placemat for the holidays. I just think it's fun. It's fun for them, but it also adds a little, you know, safety and coverage for their table and spills and it's just easy cleanup. Um, Ollie's just been in and out of this video modeling her new boots that we picked up from Walmart. <laughs> so if you see her in boots and strings, that's what she's doing. Um, these placemats are actually from Target a couple years back or maybe last season. I don't know if they had any this season. I honestly, most of the Halloween stuff by the time that I was there had already been picked over, but I think they didn't really get much of a stock in because of COVID. Um, I love this banner. I think it's, or garland. I think it's so cute. I got it last year at Walmart, but I have seen similar ones this year at Target and Walmart. Um, however, it was such a pain to untangle. It got so tangly and I'm not really even sure how. So it took me so long. I had to speed this up so much because it was, it, it took me forever. But I eventually did and I just think it's so cute and so fun just right in front of the TV area. And of course, I have one of my ambient room rooms on. Um, if you guys don't already follow my ambient playlist, you absolutely have to. It's totally worth it. It's called Escape to the Other Place and if you want festive moods, you need to go watch that now. Um, this little trick-or-treat pillow is from At Home. I don't know if they still have it. I don't think I saw it this year, but I do love it and I think it's so cute. And then this little spider guy I love as well and he was from um, Target a couple years back. And this little guy is one of my all-time favorite Halloween decorations that I own, and he was from Target last year, and he's just is such a cute little trick-or-treater. I love him. Does anybody else have a little kid that gets so comforted with their blankies that they just have to have it on their nose and sniff it all the time? That's Ellie's, like, safety blanket, literally. And that's what she has to do. She's got to comfort herself by just sniffing it away at it. Next, I wanted to share with you a product that I was so excited that got sent to me. This is from Rose Forever. It's a company based out of New York, and they make handmade preserved roses. So real ro roses that they preserve and that can last for up to a year. I hate throwing away flowers. It makes me so sad. It's often why I don't even want to buy flowers or receive flowers because I hate having to throw them away. But when I can have something that is beautiful and actual reel that lasts for a whole year I will absolutely accept it um, and so I chose the beautiful essential round yellow roses but they have a ton of different colors and sizes on their website um, but I chose this one because I think it was the most versatile and neutral for our space and I love it up here on our dresser especially next to this little wicked potions um, little shelf that I got from Target I just think it looks super cute and it's like a little whimsical space as if a little um, a witch had her potion books and her bottles up there and her fresh roses and herbs that she was gonna practice love spells on or something. I love it. I think it's so pretty and I can't wait to decorate this space for the holidays and continue to use my roses up there. These were sent to me for free. Um, I, this is video is not sponsored. I'm just really excited to share this with you guys and if you guys are looking to um, save some money and buy some beautiful preserved roses, especially if you've been wanting them for a long time like I have, then you can use my code SARAHMARIE15 for $15 off your own bouquet. I highly recommend them. They've held up so well already and they're absolutely stunning and I'm so excited to have them and use them for months and months and months. Alright, so as we move on to our bar cart, um, all the decorations here are old, there's nothing new. Um, the little witch boots you're going to see and the witch hat are from Target Dollar Spot in years past and the little framed sign is actually from Home Goods. I love Home Goods little signs. Most of their decor for the holidays is just so cute. They hit, always hit the nail on the head. Highly recommend them if you've never checked them out for their holiday decor. They're great. Anyway, I did want to bring up kind of what our plans for the quarantine Halloween will be. 
I know most of us are kind of having to change things around, switch things around. Some of us may still be going trick-or-treating. Um, some of you guys may be having parties or may not. We are definitely still social distancing. That is something that is still incredibly important to us and we try to stress that for everyone um, how incredibly important it is. So this year we've decided to kind of had a little mini Halloween party. So we're going to have a little mini Halloween with our girls, my husband, my brother, and my mom. And I've decided to set out games um, and to win prizes. One of you guys mentioned doing a Halloween bucket, which I think is such a good idea with fun little treats and maybe little mini toys in there. Just things for the girls to feel excited about as well as really still make it special. They have had such a hard year and I know that it hits them sometimes when they least expect it and that feel like they're missing out on so many things. So I'm trying so hard to make it as special and magical as possible for them. And part of that is just adding little things in and going over the top and being extra sometimes. Um, but this Halloween, like I said, we're going to have a party. And so I have purchased um, a couple of fun little games that I'm waiting to come in. I will put screenshots up of those. We're going to fill our candy bucket with uh, or we're gonna fill a pinata with candy and that's how we're gonna go trick-or-treating maybe go trick-or-treating door-to-door in my mom's house I have these fun table decorations so we can create a fun Halloween buffet with little fun Halloween foods and recipes that I find on Pinterest we plan on watching the great pumpkin Charlie Brown um, and maybe carving pumpkins or doing something fun for like a challenge and like I said games um, I did buy just a little bit of candy as you're gonna see here not too much um, but just a little bit I do plan on adding a bit more of like fun things that we can keep for a little bit longer these zombie skittles I'm so excited about though because some of them are regular skittles and some of them taste like rotten zombie and I just think that those are just a fun creepy kind of disgusting um, Halloween fun thing for us to do together tell me below what you guys are doing and if you have any fun ideas, I'd love to hear them. I'm trying to continue to just soup up our plans and make them as safe as possible. We will have be having a candy bucket outside um, for trick-or-treaters to come so they can still have something for those who are going out. I still want them to feel like their you know, Halloween is still just as fun and that they're still going to get treats. Anyway, let's move on to the girls' rooms. Um, I took down all of their fall decor and we're just adding just a few pieces of Halloween um, decor in their room. This is the first year that I've decorated their room for Halloween and I loved how it turned out. I got that polka dot pillowcase and that gingham or buffalo check pillow uh, cover from Amazon and that candy corn pillow is actually sparkly and it's from at home. And this cute little unicorn is from um, Target. Eleanor has the same uh, three pillows except she has a Thackeray Binks cat from the Disney store this year. I just couldn't resist him. I thought he was so cute. Next you're going to see the shelf. So everything pretty much in this room is from Target. That Hocus Pocus sign, the pumpkins, that trick or treat thing, the decal. I had to take off. It was driving me insane. I do not recommend them. We've used mini decals in the girls room and never had a problem, but these would not stay stuck for the life of me. I do not recommend them. However cute they may or may not look. I also got this broom which ended up perfectly hanging on um, underneath their shelf and I just thought it turned out so cute. It looked like a little witch's broom just waiting to fly off. I then just found these really inexpensive bats from Walmart. They were like 98 cents for the two of them. And they're kind of cheesy but they're fun and I think it just adds a little something on their wall. This little garland, felt garland, was from Target Dollar Spot this year. Once again, the witch theme is alive and well. Um, I love the little witchy room. I just hung that on their little uh, toy chest area. These pumpkins were all from Target. And that um, tree is actually from QVC. And you're going to see a black one in our living room area. Um, they are so cute. I love them. I'm so glad that we got them. My mom got this one for the girls and then I got the, the black one for our living room area and it just all came together. I didn't even tend to do a witch theme, but I didn't realize it until after I bought everything that everything was witches and orange and black and purple and it worked out so perfectly. The girls loved it. You guys normally want to see their um, 
surprise faces and the reveals and their reactions and they were super excited they loved how spooky it is and that little uh, tree has been serving as a really great nightlight I might add but this is how their room turned out and it was so much fun as you can see I exchanged the decals for a little uh, witch's hat um, wall sign that I got from Target last year and that is the end of this video guys I hope you enjoyed it I hope you found some spooky ideas if you haven't decorated already and think different things to do or just got you in the festive mood and spirit and you got some ideas for a safe and happy quarantine Halloween um, don't forget to check out Rose Forever if you're looking for beautiful roses that will last you and I don't know bring some specialness into your home right now we could all use a little pick-me-up and something that is gonna bring us happiness and joy to look at especially for however many months we still have I'm trying to stay positive here but it's wearing down thank you guys so much for watching i hope you're having a wonderful and safe halloween season and i can't wait to see you guys very soon in my next video don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment down below and tell me what your quarantine halloween plans are if you're going to go trick-or-treating with your kiddos if you're going to stay in and watch scary movies if you're going to hand out candy if you're going to have a, a little mini halloween party let me know what you guys' plans are and i will see you guys very soon in my next video bye guys happy halloween